Our vision says every school a thriving school, every student ready for college, career, and community. How can we make this happen? The Board of Education adopted a new behavior education plan. This plan used to be called the Code of Conduct. Just from the name, you can tell there's a difference. Up until now, we had a zero tolerance approach. Lots of research told us that this does not work if your goal is to give a kid a good education. What zero tolerance does, it's kick kids out of school, sometimes the first time they've ever been in trouble. So maybe you made a bad decision, boom, you're out. No discussion, no second chance. Who benefits from this? There is evidence that discipline programs focused on punishment and consequences leads to higher dropouts and more students ending up in jail. What ends up happening? Certain kids are called out for behaviors more than others. I'm talking about kids like me. African-American males and students with special education needs. We know, and teachers across the country know, that there is a better, more effective way to keep us all learning and thriving in our schools. These approaches are all laid down in the behavioral education plan. The plan uses a progressive approach. The first time a behavior occurs, an adult steps in to help the child change the behavior, maybe by teaching him a new way to approach the situation. If it happens again, a different, more intensive approach is used. The idea is that the kid has a chance to learn with each step in the behavior change process. Something like suspension and expulsion is used only in the most serious of situations, when there is a safety and security risk involved. In this behavioral education program, adults in the school are always talking with families, forming relationships, getting the whole picture of a child. In the end, building school into a place where everyone wants to be. The behavior education plan is not about hugging kids instead of suspending them. The plan uses the best strategies out there to help kids thrive in their schools and be the best learners they can be. It is a very systematic approach to making classrooms safe for everyone and making sure all students and their families feel like they have a place in their school. Think about the situations you have seen in schools. How might the situations been different if we were focused on learning over complying, teaching expectations, giving kids room to make mistakes and learn from them? I hope you will take time to read this plan closely, ask questions and get involved. Thank you.